I must befriend a citizen of the earth that can help me settle this issue. Oh. Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi there, sir. I, I can't help but notice in you. You don't look like you're from around these parts. Hello, you happen to be right. I'm looking for someone that can help me with a very time-sensitive situation. Might you be able to direct me to someone that would fit that description? Well, as the sheriff of this here town, I believe I'm obligated to help. What's the problem? Well, I'm afraid I can't say much more with all these people around. You never know who might be listening. All right, everybody, clear out. <laughs> you heard me, Tom. Clear out. <laughs> Superior technology. I specialize in moderating conflicts between groups of alien life forms. Whoa, who's fighting here? There is no brawl in this town that I can't handle. I'm afraid this brawl is out of your control. The poor cap are a very easily angered and hardy race. You see, they want your sand. Our sand? Yes, it's a very hot commodity on our home planet. Well, uh, as you can see, we have a lot of sand. They can take the darn stuff. <laughs> yes, it does seem like that would be an easy solution to have them just take all of your sand. Unfortunately, they are just here in the West in order to inspect the sand, ensure it is the proper quality. After that, they wish to take your planet to their sand extractor. And, well, it's safe to say the Earth will cease to exist. Do they have something against us? <laughs> well, quite the opposite. They don't care at all. All they care about is sack. <laughs> I'm hoping that if I do well here, I will be offered a permanent position on the Peace Division of the Grand Council. That, uh, seems ambitious, but, uh, well, uh, we gotta save my town, my planet. Let's go. mention snakes and other dangerous critters. That makes perfect sense. The poor Kemp are a race that thrives off of chaos and negativity. Well, it's going to take some time to get there. We'll have to get the help of my friend Helen. Uh, she knows the mountain pass like the back of her hand. Uh, here she goes now. Helen. Oh, hey there, Luke. Who's your friend there? Uh, his name is Guillermo, and he comes, <laughs> he comes from a, a thing he calls a spaceship, uh, and, and he maintains a, a intergalactic peace, uh, and he's an alien race called the, the, the Paul, Paul Kemp. That's the one. Oh dear, Luke, you have a fever again? Uh, no, I trust this guy. I don't know why, but I just do. What's the big idea here? Why are you roping me into this? No, no, Luke. You of all people should know how dangerous it is up there in those mountain passes. I won't take you. Come on, Helen. The fate of the world depends on me. <laughs> all right. I guess if you trust him, I trust him. Now, where are we off to? A place your friend called Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Gold Peak Mountain. <laughs> Gold Peak Mountain. Well, that's pretty far. If we're going to get up there at a reasonable hour, we better get moving. Set up camp. How about this clearing? 
Looks like a good place as any. All right. Well, I'm going to go find us some food. All right. Don't stray off too far. I won't. Isn't this just exciting, sleeping under the stars? Yeah, sure, bud. <laughs> Do you and your friends like looking at the stars? Well, to be honest, I don't have too many friends. Neither do I. Maybe... <laughs> we could be friends. Maybe. <laughs> Luke. Yeah? Can you tell me about Earth? Sure. What, what would you like to know? Well, you see, if I've always wanted to learn how to... How to... to well, spit it out. To dance! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I made this up when I was just a little boy. It's a little hard to follow, but just try. <laughs>
they'll remember me. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, watch this. I think you should start a little smaller. I hear the saloon needs a new busboy. <laughs> <laughs> 